thank you to my nine members on YouTube. Thank you so much for supporting what I do. Got a very short and simple tutorial for you guys today, but you'll find that this is actually going to be very useful if you make YouTube videos. So how many of us watching this video record their gameplay to post on their YouTube? Don't you just wish that sometimes you could record your gameplay and your camera into two separate videos so then you can add and customize them on your video editing software? If you fall under that category, well, I got the perfect solution for you. This tutorial was a request from my friend Sparklex. Check him out. He's a great, great guy. And he asked me, is there a chance maybe you could do a tutorial on how to have your webcam recorded in a separate type of VOD for editing purposes? Let's get right into it. How's it going, guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. My name is Desynchro. Like I mentioned on in the intro, guys, tonight I'm going to be teaching you all how to record both your gameplay and your webcam into two separate video files using OBS. This is super simple to do, and all we're going to need is one tiny plugin from the legendary Exeldro. Guys, if this video helps you in any way, consider liking and subscribing to the channel. Also, share it around with your streamer friends so they can learn something new too. I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download it, install it, and how to use the plugin so you can get it all set up. So let's get right into it. So, first thing we gotta do is obviously download the plugin so check the link in the description it'll take you right to the web page to download it once you're on the web page guys all you gotta do is hit the download button over here a new window will pop up and then you choose which version you want we're gonna go with the windows.zip once the file is downloaded guys very very simple to install double click the zip select everything inside and then just drag it inside your obs directory if it asks you to replace anything, just click yes. And there you go. Now it's installed. Let's head over to our OBS so we can set it up. All right, guys. So here we have a brand new and clean OBS. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a new scene. Let's call the scene our gameplay. On our gameplay scene, let's come to sources. Let's click the plus and let's head over to video capture device. We're going to be adding our webcam. Resize your webcam in whichever way you want. I'm just going to make a small little webcam on the corner of my screen. I'm going to lock it just so I don't accidentally move it. Next thing you want to do is just add your gameplay. So you click the plus and you can add your display capture or your game capture if you use that. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using a video of my gameplay. So here we go. We got our gameplay scene sorted. Let's suppose we want to start recording our gameplay. We'd hit start recording. But the problem here is it's going to record both our camera and our gameplay in one big video file. We don't want that. We want them both in separate videos. So let's quickly sort this out. And this is where that filter that we downloaded plays a big part. What we're going to do is we're going to right click our sources. We're going to go to filters and on the effect filters, we're going to click the plus button and go over to source record. And just to keep track, we're going to name this webcam record. Now let's add the exact same filter to our gameplay. So head over to gameplay, click filters, click the plus source record. And to keep track, we're going to call this gameplay record. Awesome. Now let's go through the settings. The first tab that we got is the record tab. This is basically all your recording options. Here we can change how we want to start our recording. So we can make it so it's always recording as long as the filter is on. We can change it so if it starts recording once we start streaming. We can make it so it starts recording once we're actually recording. You can make it so it's both. And you can even make it so it starts recording once you turn on your virtual camera. There's also another way to start recording using hotkeys. And we're going to be going through that in just a second because that's the method we're going to be using. Here we have our path. This is where our recordings are going to be saved. We have our file name formatting. This is basically the naming of the file. And we also have the file format. We're going to leave most of these as it is for now. The only thing that I'm going to change is I'm going to name this dash gameplay on the file name formatting. This will just help you keep track on which is which. We also have our replay buffer, but we're not going to be using that. And we also have a streaming tab, which would basically make it so we stream just the source to another channel if we wanted to. You can also set different audio tracks as well, which is very handy if you want the audio of your gameplay to be separate from your microphone. And then finally, we have the encoding options over here. And this is basically the same encoding options that you have on your recording tab in your settings. So let's start setting this up. One of the first things that we want to do is turn off the filter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head over to record mode and we're going to change this to always. What this is going to do is it's going to make it so whenever the filter is on, it'll start recording our gameplay and our webcam. You can change the path if you want. And like I mentioned before, for the file name formatting, I would suggest just adding a little dash and calling it whatever you're recording just to help you keep track on which file is which. Recording format, you can choose whatever you want. I prefer MP4, but this is up to you. On different audio, what I would suggest you do is change the audio track to track one and then change the source to whichever the filter is on. So this one is my gameplay. The encoding options uh, varies from person to person. So you'll have to experiment with this. You can use the exact same recording options that you have on your recording settings. 
that's really up to you however just as a quick word of warning on the plugin page exeldra mentions that the new nvidia nvenc this one over here has been having some issues so try a different one if you do come across any issues i'm personally going to be setting the same options that i have on my recording tab but you may want to experiment with this yourself like i mentioned this may differ from person to person depending on how powerful your computer is and then simply just apply similar settings to your webcam as well so like before let's hide the filter and we're going to change the record mode to always we're going to leave the path as it is on the file name formatting i'm just going to add a dash webcam to help keep track with a different audio i'm going to select that i'm going to select track one and the source i'm going to select the microphone and on my encoder i'm just going to select the same settings as before but like i mentioned you may want to experiment with this yourself Cool, now that we set all this up, let's organize our hotkeys to start recording. So come over to settings, head over to hotkeys, and look for your webcam and gameplay. Here we go. So we got our gameplay here, and we got our webcam over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a key for source record enable and source record disable. So for my source record enable, I'm going to select one. And then for disable, I'm going to select two. And I'm going to be doing the same thing to my webcam as well. So I'm going to select one and then two. And then I'm going to click apply and OK. Now, once we press our number one key, it's going to record both our camera and our gameplay into two separate videos. And once we press number two, it's going to stop that recording. So here's our videos directory. This is basically where our videos are going to be saved. I'm going to press one now and we have our gameplay and our webcam recording. And once we're done recording, we hit number two and there we go. Now we have both our video files of our gameplay and of our webcam. Now, one issue you may notice is that both the audio of your gameplay and the audio of your microphone is going to both video files. I've tried to make it so the audio from your microphone goes to one audio track and the audio from your gameplay goes to another audio track. But for some reason, even after selecting different tracks, it still goes on both videos. I haven't really figured out how to fix that i almost guarantee that i'm doing something wrong here but i haven't really been able to figure out what so even if i was to select a different audio track from my gameplay audio once i finished recording them the audio of both my gameplay and microphone would still go to both videos i unfortunately don't really know how to fix that so now you can bring both your webcam and your gameplay to your video editing software of choice and change it in any way that you want if you want to do extra edits to it that's all up to you and there you go guys that's how you can set up your obs to record your sources into separate videos spark i hope the video helps man i know you've been really excited for this tutorial so i hope i made a difference for you this is such an amazing and useful plugin so shoot exeldra some love when you get the chance thank you so much for watching everybody thank you so much for your time i hope this video was able to help you or a friend of yours in any way shape or form if you guys have any questions and want to learn more come check us out on twitch i stream monday wednesdays and friday starting at 4 p.m australia west standard time and I'd love to see you there. That's all for this video, friends. I hope you all have an amazing day and an amazing stream. And if you guys want to check out some more awesome tutorials and learn how to do some really cool things, you're doing yourself a disservice by not checking out these two videos. Trust me on this. You won't regret it.